This Funny, week sees the return of Shona in Coronation Street after she's been away, uh, as Ruth explained earlier, about recovering from being shot on Christmas Day. I mean, as bad luck goes, that's that's bad. She got in the... Yes, yeah, she that's was in the wrong place, wrong the wrong time. time. Uh, we're going to be talking to actress Julia Golding. There she is. Morning, Julia. Looking lovely, Julia. Looking yes. great. She's looking very well. Uh, but before we talk to her, let's have a look back at the story so far. Mm. Poor David. Julia, it's so good to see you. How are you doing? I'm very well, thank you. Um, it's good that she's coming back, but this is going to be very difficult for everybody concerned, isn't it? Because she doesn't know who David is. She's been told he's her husband, but she doesn't remember that. Uh, how difficult is this storyline for you? Because obviously you know all these people, they, you know, your, your friends and colleagues. It, it must be very hard to play a different Shona now mm. completely. Absolutely, yeah. Um, it's... It's been difficult in the sense of we have a rapport together um, as characters, as actors, as, and, you know, they're my friends as well. Um, so it's been hard not to slip back into the old Shona, um, you know, and work and have the same sort of cheeky exchanges with David and things like that. Yes, because I suppose it's not just David that you've, you can't remember. It's a lot of other people, Gail, you know, Roy... Yeah, she can't remember having, um, having lived on the street at all. She's lost about four to five years of her memory um, before, from before the accident. And then when Clayton, obviously, her son is going to be involved in this, um, I believe we're going to see a clip now. Um, this is her going to visit him in prison. Let's have a look at that and then we'll talk to you about it. Oh, oh dear. my goodness. Mm. So wh where is this going to lead? I mean, how much can you tell us about where this is going to lead now? Because Clayton's obviously drip dripping kind of poison about David. How much is she going to believe? Will she have any recognition of the people around her in Coronation Street again? Um, so it's, it's a funny one with Clayton because she actually um, remembers him to be around 14 years old. Um, which I think, as we've learned in the past, was when he started turning quite nasty because of his father's influence. Um, and when she goes to see him in the prison, it's not long until his mask begins to slip again um, and those evil little ways start showing through. So I think she'll probably get wise to him quite quickly. Julia, I have a bit of a problem with the, the storyline and whatever. Every time I see you and every time I see you there with, with Clayton, you're far too young to be his mother. I mean, now, <laughs> how does that work out? It just doesn't look right. Well, it's, um, actually, it, she was 13 when she had him. <gasps> um, and I am actually 13 years older than um, Callum, who plays Clayton. Yes. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> it worked. <laughs> Well, look, the real reason, we were talking about the storyline there and, and, you know, what happened at Christmas and whatever, but you sort of, you had to be written out of the street, hadn't you, temporarily, and tell everybody why. Oh, because I had uh, a baby. I had the Franklin. Franklin, tell it. Congratulations. Franklin. Now, Franklin's got a heck of a name, hasn't he? Franklin is Franklin what? Franklin Wolf Silver. Wolf. Yes. So, right, tell us, tell us the story behind that. Is it like after X-Men or something? Uh, no, it was uh, my husband really likes the name Wolfgang um, oh. after Mozart. Oh. And, uh, and funnily enough, uh, my granny was German and my mum really liked the name Wolfgang for me had I been a boy. Um, so I'm not over keen on Wolfgang, but we compromised with Wolf. Wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> it's a great name, isn't but, it? And what's it like being a mum then? Uh, you know, uh, is this number one? Is this baby number one for you? It is, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so how are you finding the experience? Oh, it's just delightful. He just, he gets better and better every single day. He's fantastic. He's teething at the moment, but... Oh, that's yeah, not quite so still... fantastic. So how have you coped in lockdown, Julia? Because you did, you went back to Corrie, didn't you, after your maternity leave, did three or four weeks, and then lockdown happened. Um, so how are you coping with a, with a young baby in lockdown? Um, it's... It's it's actually been really lovely for Ben and myself to have this time just with Franklin. Obviously, the grandparents are all desperate to see him, um, but we're doing lots of FaceTimes and things. Um, yeah, it's been nice. It's been lovely seeing his development each day. 
um, and things like that. So, you know, we're making the best of this bad situation. Well, yeah. you better get back to work soon because I was reading in the papers there are only 10 episodes of Coronation it's Street left out. on the shelf before we run out of them. Um, but but you, you do keep in touch with the, uh, the rest of the cast. Tell us about Dan's Bar. <laughs> So Dan's Bar is um, it's where we frequent of an evening um, for, you know, a little glass of wine and maybe some games and things. Uh, it's Dan Brocklebank who plays Billy, um, Sue Cleaver, myself and uh, Woody, one of our first ADs. Um, and we we just get together and chat like normal and pretend that we're in a bar. Very nice. <laughs> great are. idea, great I idea. Julia, uh, we raise a glass to Franklin Wolf Silver yeah. and uh, and you continue enjoying life and, and great to see you back on the street. Thank you very much indeed. Thanks, Julia. For having me. Lo Thank and you. Could I just say, lovely shelves. Very, very Thank nice. You. It's always <laughs> nice to see people's houses, you know, what they do. Yeah. I love that lamp as well yes. there behind you as well. Lovely, lovely, lovely.